Yo, yo, what's happening, fellas? Welcome back to the channel. Serious question. How are you guys doing? Spring is hitting a little different this year, so, you know, let me know in the comments below how you guys are doing, if you guys are doing all right. I, myself, have been decent, not the best. But anyways, one thing that's been keeping me from going insane is just putting outfits together. You know, I kind of treat it like nothing's really going on, and it's really, honestly, kind of calmed me down a little bit. And currently, it's beautiful and warm outside. Spring is here. So that is why in this video, we are going to be talking about my top spring essentials for 2020. Now the tips in this video is going to be tips I've been doing for the past few springs. You guys don't have to listen to me. This is just what I do. I try not to make my videos come off like, yo, you need to do this. You need to listen to me. I'm an expert. Don't listen to anyone else. Hope it doesn't come off like that because fashion is subjective. You do you. Everyone has their own different tastes. So you can take my advice for what it's worth. And before we get into it, I just want to let you guys know that this video is sponsored by Cuts Clothing, but we'll talk about them later in the video. So I'm going to get the things that you guys hear the most out of the way first because I understand it can get a little bit repetitive, but let's just get into it. I've been doing it every year and that is bringing out the light wash denim. Throwing on a pair of light wash denim that's cuffed is just the definition of spring to me. It's super casual, it doesn't absorb heat, so it's not gonna be so stuffy when going out. Some brands that I recommend are Express, Uniqlo, or even Levi's, and pairing it with a pair of white sneakers, woof! You've got that light, chill vibe going on, and that is definitely a vibe, especially during these rough times. Next up, we have low top sneakers. So don't get me wrong, I'm still gonna be wearing my high cut Jordan 1s during the spring and summertime, but I won't be wearing them as much because that's like equivalent to wearing you know, like a turtleneck for your legs. And that's probably going to mean stinky ass feet for you. So for low tops, you can never go wrong with a solid pair of white sneakers for spring. Whether it be minimal leather sneakers or canvas, white sneakers are a great way to add some lighter tones to your fit because it contrasts pretty much against any color, making for a lighter vibe to your fit. These are from New Republic and these are Vans Authentics. Can't go wrong with either. Both are pretty much the same, except the leather ones, you can dress up a bit more. And if you want something in between, roll with the Nike Air Force Ones the Yeezy Power Phases, and if you can't afford those, you can just roll with the Adidas Continental 80s. Now, the Classic Vans Old Schools are definitely a staple as well, but you also need a pair of runners. I don't know about you, but I'm going to be wearing a ton of athleisure this spring. It's comfortable, I'm going to be going on a lot of walks and runs because I'm going to go insane if I don't. And so you need a solid pair of runners that are going to go with your athleisure fits, as well as your regular fits, so that is why I recommend something like the Nike Element 87s or the New Balance 997S. Both are comfortable and perform really well. Runners go great with a pair of Denim, and they also go great with cargos and track pants for that active wear, almost tech wear aesthetic. Incredibly versatile. Some other sneakers I recommend are the Ultra Boost, if you guys are still into that, and also the Nike Air Max 97s and the Triple White. Those are hot. If anybody has a size 11 or 10 and a half, send the DM. And going off that athleisure vibe, the next essential I'm going to recommend are windbreakers. So I'm sure you may see others online talking about how you need a denim jacket or a bomber. Those are definitely dope for this time as well, but I find windbreakers to be more useful, more comfortable, and if styled right, more fly. See, windbreakers do exactly what, you know, the name of it is. They block the wind. And it definitely gets windy during the spring, you know, the hot air is causing a lot of wind and all that. But not only that, there are a lot of windbreakers out there from the North Face to Uniqlo that offer waterproofing to keep you dry. Because April showers are a thing, except uh, only here, it's only precipitated once and that was snow. Everyone's monsoon season is a little different. In New Mexico, it's around June. Anyways, you could stay dry whenever you're going out for runs, and a windbreaker will definitely give off a more athletic look, which I'm sure will probably be a little bit more common this year rather than, you know, a bomber in Chelsea boots. Personally, I like wearing a windbreaker with cargo pants for that more futuristic, dystopian look. Don't let that stop you, though. Marquez Brownlee does wear it with his J's. These are versatile AF, especially during times like these where people aren't trying too hard to look fly. Next up, we got lighter colors. See, for the fall and winter, it was cool to go with the more darker colors. Now, I'm still gonna be rocking darker colors during the spring, don't get me wrong, but you know, bring some life into your days. Flowers are blooming right now, we got cherry blossoms, why not throw some lighter colors to your fits? So as mentioned earlier, light wash denim and white sneakers, beautiful. But also, don't forget about the tees. Combining light wash denim, white sneakers, and a lighter colored tee, my goodness, you hit spring gold and I wanna be your friend. So whether it be an oversized tee or a fitted t-shirt, lighter colors that lean more towards that pastel color palette are perfect. The colors I recommend are salmon pink. Cream is always a clean colorway and maybe something like an olive or light pastel green shirt. I'd say those are a great start. Then you can move towards those, you know, stone blues and dusty purples. And for me, I've been trying to incorporate more fitted shirts into the fits because I feel like they suit springtime a lot more than the fall and winter personal opinion, by the way. I haven't stopped wearing them completely, as some of you guys may think. Johnny, I thought you stopped wearing fitted clothes. You made a whole video about it. 
well maybe you should watch it again they do get a few wears a week and if you guys also like fitted clothes i want to recommend you guys the sponsor of today's video cuts clothing so as you guys know the t-shirt is a must-have in any wardrobe you can't be shirtless all year round come on that's crazy and throughout my years of starting this channel i have had my fair share of shrink shirts, bacon necks, and just overall terrible quality t-shirts in general. I'm sure you guys can relate. What I like about Cuts Clothing is their modern take on a t-shirt. As you guys know, I've been incorporating fitted tees more often in the wardrobe, and my favorite part about Cuts and what makes them stand out is that they allow you to pick your favorite designs in a t-shirt. You could go with the crew neck, v-neck, or henley, and or you can choose your cut from elongated, which I recommend for taller dudes, the split hem, which is my favorite choice, or the classic curved hem. And that's why I took on Cuts Clothing to sponsor this video because I feel like that makes them stand out. And for me personally, I like having a little bit of options when it comes to the cut of my shirt. And for reference, I chose a crew neck with a split hem in a size medium, and I'm 5'7 at 156 pounds, so I hope that helps some of you guys out. They've got a variety of colors that are perfect for the springtime, and they come pre-shrunk, wrinkle-free, and will hold its shape over time. I've already washed these shirts plenty of times, and they haven't shrunk at all, and they still feel brand new. What I also like about them is they lean more towards that lifestyle wear, so I can wear this when I'm lounging at home, or whenever I'm going on dates, you know, at home, and everything in between. I even wear this when I work out because, you know, they really nailed the fit. So guys, go ahead and click the link in the description. You guys will see that they got plenty of cuts, plenty of colors for you to choose that'll also suit anybody's taste. And if you guys wanna save some money, you guys can use the discount code Johnny underscore Ty at checkout. And I really appreciate your guys' support and also, Thank you, Cuss Clothing, for sponsoring this video. So next on the list, we have shoulder and tote bags. So to me, shoulder bags or tote bags give off this smart casual vibe that I find perfect for the warmer months. When going out was a thing, I'd always meet up with people wearing a backpack. Those can get a little bit bulky and it's just a little bit too much for just a casual meetup. But tote bags and shoulder bags will have plenty of storage and honestly can serve as a backpack replacement and it really can elevate your look. Now for me, I try and stay away from the really thick leather ones because it can come off looking like a purse and there's nothing wrong with that. It's just not my preference. There are exceptions though and some of them actually look really good, but I would lean more towards that grandma made this out of her Danish cookies bin full of sewing materials rather than your loud Trader Joe's type of crunchy material. Now, APC is my favorite place to go for tote bags. They've got the leather ones that I like and the cloth-like ones as well. I'm sure there are plenty of other brands, but APC just have my favorite ones. If you're not into tote bags, I'd recommend the shoulder bag that I got from Uniqlo. This definitely can be rocked with minimal smart outfits, but also more techie outfits that normal tote bags can't. It's waterproof and very simply designed, one of my favorite pickups this year and is a great start to bags in general, as tote bags I find is more for a certain fashion base. Next up, we got accessories. Shoulder bags and tote bags do count in this little category, but I feel like they deserve their own point. So I don't really want to ramble on this too much. Since it is getting warmer though, you can't really utilize layering to add complexity to your fit. So our fits are naturally going to be a lot more simple and basic. And so to compensate for that, you're going to need some accessories. So of course a watch, bracelets, rings, and you know, a necklace. These are definitely a year round thing for me, fall, winter, spring, summer. Then onto other things like tying a bandana around your belt loop, throwing on a belt chain to add a more edgy punk vibe to the fit. And because of the things that are going on right now, a face mask is definitely an essential along with hand sanitizer and Clorox wipes, which you can keep in your tote bag or shoulder bag. Those are just a few of my recommendations, but it's totally up to you. Last but not least is nothing related to fashion at all. It's entertainment. I really hope you guys have been doing well. I myself have been struggling a lot creatively. Even though I am still working out and still working from home, my life hasn't really changed too much, which I'm super grateful for, but because you know you can't go out and you have to social distance, it's taken quite a bit of a toll on me, you know, because I am an extrovert, but that's first world problems and nobody really cares. But getting back to it, as much as I land in the boats of you will never have this much time, you should really be pursuing the things you wanna pursue. You also wanna balance that hustle and skill development and also the media with some form of entertainment. For me, skateboarding definitely really helps. I also play Scrabble with my girl and also play Animal Crossing on my Switch. For you, it might be Disney Plus, a puzzle, maybe some photography, or watching my videos and smashing the like button for the YouTube algorithm. Because at the end of the day, clothes are clothes. They're really nice to have, and it's actually kind of fun, you know, putting together some outfits. But getting through this while staying sane is much more important. So that's it, guys. Spring is a lot different this year. I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you guys haven't already, follow me on Instagram at flywithjohnnytai. Subscribe to the channel. And once again, thank you Cuts Clothing for sponsoring this video and allowing me to still have a job and thank you guys in advance if you guys make any purchases from Cuts Clothing or any of the sponsors on this channel. Honestly, truly helps and I really appreciate it. Stay fly, stay healthy. I'm out. Peace.